Hello there. Okay, gang, this is just a test video. Uh, just to let you know, coming starting December 1st, I am going to be working on the LEGO Advent, LEGO City Advent calendar for 2016. It's the first time I've ever done the LEGO calendar. And, and I just wanted to review it and, like, do a single short video each day of me doing the individual pieces. So, 24 videos in all, probably less than 5 minutes apiece. But this is just a test video right now to go through the motions and see if everything looks alright as I film. So, we, as a test, I went over to Target a few days ago and got this Lego City... What is this? <laughs> Lego City Fire ATV. Uh, 64 pieces. The average number of pieces for the advent calendar are much lower than this. But I'm going to go through this one uh, just as I said as a test to see how it wo how everything looks as I fit as I film this and see and as a test of my editing prowess, which is terrible. So I'm going to open this up here and very badly because I forgot to bring a knife. And. <laughs> And if this works out properly, I have to find some background music to add into this. I hope I... So, get one back here. And one back there. And... The directions. So. Alright. Let's put that aside. Hmm, down there. Okay. And open up the bags. And I love Legos. One of the fun parts of being an adult is I don't have to add and beg for these for Christmas. I can just buy them on my own. And the bad part of the adult is I have to justify the expense. Because uh, when I was in college and when I was like first starting out, I wasn't married or anything like that. I could justify buying like dr plopping 200 bucks down for a Millennium Falcon. But I really can't these days. So doing Legos these days is more of a treat and. Okay, it's, we're starting here with the uh, typical start by building the minifig related to it, so got a little fireman dude here. Let's dig out all the parts here. His torso. And all four in the head. And where's his, where's his leg? Oh my god! There they are. Little helmet. Little backpack. Okay, here. Oh, what's it? What is that? Uh, oh, I see. Okay. So, put that together like that, and you got a little instant fire extinguisher. You see, it's a beautiful thing. It's just, all it is is like a little L piece and a little uh, peg piece, and boop, you put them together, you've got a fire extinguisher because it's not going on to a fireman. Alright, let's press the rest together. European style fire helmet, I think. I don't know. Makes sense. Alright. Put that in his hand and he's ready to put out a forest fire with that dinky little fire extinguisher. I don't think that's gonna work very well for him, but oh well. Okay. Little do there. And I realize you're looking at all this upside down, but I don't think it really matters because you're just watching me assemble it. You don't have to actually look at the uh, assembly book here. So, start up with that. And two of the three Z's. Two of the three Z's, that doesn't make any sense. Oop. Oop. I'm using the improper Lego terminology because I don't, I'm not really one of the major Lego fans. Uh, it's like where I know all of the uh, little in jokes and the little uh, abbreviations that y'all use. So, let's see, need a pipe piece, and a connector piece. Technical terminology, the connector piece. Okay. And, if I want to get completely overly ambitious about this thing, if this works out for the, uh, with the advent calendar, and I get an actual audience, which I doubt, but I might, you never know. And, I'd like to, like, try to, like, do a, this is a regular thing, and make 
more ambitious sets, like make a big set over several days. Like, if, okay, dream here, I'd like get the, enough money to do the Taj Mahal, which is like, got, I don't know, 5,000 pieces or something? That's just a pipe dream. So I've got that little piece there. And what exactly am I building here? It doesn't tell, it doesn't tell me. It doesn't look like anything. Okay. And is that the big one? Little one. Big one. Okay. Put that in. And little flame things. Now wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you have a firefighter with a flamethrower? Is this supposed to represent a forest fire or something? I don't know. And I put it here on this. And except it does not fit, does it? Oh, no, okay, I gotta turn that up. Okay, there. Was it like a rocket powered ATV? <laughs> Okay. Oh, I've never encountered these, but I'm sure that I've, I've seen them on other sets. But it's like a little—it's a little brick-shaped brick, -shaped brick. <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Of course, I'm easily amused. And Rascal Maverick, whatever your name is, stop scratching at that. Thank you. Okay, put that in and that here, and flip the flames up. Oh, oh, I see. I guess. Flames up, flames down. Lux on, lux off. Oh, I see. If you look here, it's a little diorama piece. Can you see there? And the dude's basically goes, I'm fighting the fire. It's out! Yay! Okay. It's just cool. All right, now we're actually going to build the ATV bit. So, get the long piece here. I'll put those guys aside back there. And put it over and do the usual and we'll put the axles on. One of the silliest reasons I love Christmas is I do get a chance to buy ridiculous Lego sets, or like reasonably sized Lego sets instead of dinky things like this. Uh, let's see here. Of course my daughter's getting into Legos, so she's into Minecraft. Eh, Minecraft, sorry. I'm more into city these days, and I used to be really big into Star Wars until it was like 8 million sets and I couldn't keep up. I like some of the building stuff, like somewhere downstairs I've got the Medieval Village set, which I completed almost because there was a couple of pieces missing. I never got around to getting replacement parts for it. And oh, so it's so huge I've got no place to display it in the house. So, headlights on here. And let's... I hope this is... I hope you can see what I'm doing. Well, that's the whole point of testing this, to make sure I got all the angles right. It looked all great when I was setting everything up, but you never know. And... And that's one of the problems of doing it on the fold-up table. Excuse me for a moment. Where, oh, where? Oh, jeez, Louise. That's where... That's why they give you extra pieces, a little extra. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, if this works out, it's like, 
I'm like dreaming Patreon page, just like, what's the best way to pay for your obsession? Get other people to pay for it. Wait a minute, I missed something here. Back up. Back up. Back up. You saw me? Yes, I did. Oops. My bad. I'm oh, sorry. things that they always put in the really big sets to disassemble. Uh, try not to grab anything fly everywhere. It'll be hard to find. Alright. As I've previously demonstrated. Okay, let's try that again. Take you and your dignity and go over here. Thank you. And let's see. Yes, a master builder I am not. I'm more of the put it together over hours and hours and go slowly blind putting all the pieces on. Actually, that's not. You want to go blind, try building the Lego Space Shuttle. Like 1,500 pieces, half of them white. <laughs> it's just like. Dude, you took another header. Stop that. And lay down. And, well, it was a lot of fun putting it together, and I was proud to build it. It's like, I don't want to, I'm not sure if I want to do the Taj Mahal, because that's like almost all of it white. That'd be insane. Uh, can't do it. <laughs> Little grabby pieces on the back, which is probably going to be either putting a, yeah, probably going to be an equipment rack, I'm guessing. Another thing that just look cool. Who knows? And two of those things here. The grill pieces. Okay. Um, looking good so far. Making zoomy noises while you're building a car is mandatory, thank you. Okay. Okay, that's the front end. And, uh, and usually the decal is pre-printed on this thing, so you don't have to be fiddling with that. There's always a pain in the butt. I should say butt. Try to keep this PG-13. Okay. That on. <laughs> oh, I see. The emergency lights. That's what those are for. And uh, oh, supposed to be two of these, and there's only one. I think oh, one of that little yellow guy. Uh oh. Well, shoot. Um. Hmm. Hopefully, I will go searching after we're done here. Right now, I'm not going to bug it, bother with it. Is it coming up? No. In the bag, is it? No. Darn. Oh, jeez. Okay. Mm, let's see here. Okay, yeah, I was right. That's an equipment rack. So, put the... I love this... <laughs> it's like the generic chainsaw thing just to re re represent heavy equipment in the Legoverse, and it's like... God knows what you would use it for, because it, I guess you could cut down a tree with it, but uh, it's a Lego burst, so you wouldn't want to be, you'd be cutting down a plastic tree with a plastic chainsaw, which that doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's get the tires on here. Oh, there's the other blue guy. He's stuck inside one of the tires. There you go. So perfect. All yeah, right. Get a little emergency warning lights. Okay. Building the tires.
it's a tr it's a truck. It's an ATV. Okay. Now what? We got lots of little pieces left over here. Hmm. That's odd. That's really odd. Um, I'm trying to figure. Out. We've got this, which is like a collar. I don't know what it is. It's a collar piece for the for the figure. And we've got like two helmet pieces, like visors. And they serve no purpose. And they're listed on the parts list. I'm only supposed to have one visor piece, but it's like. Why is it there? Did I miss... Did I miss... Build? Oh, 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 oh. I screwed up. I screwed up building my dude. Okay. Excuse me, you guys. I gotta pop your head off. Boop. Well, pop it, pop it, pop, pop, pop it. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. I'll put your head back on. And... Uh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, that's clever. Oh, oh, it's like a diver helmet. I see. I know why they gave you two. I know why they gave you two visors, because you drop the other one and it disappears forever. I don't like the visors on... I don't like the fact that the visors are separate pieces that you have to assemble because I... they inevitably pop off of whatever helmet they're supposed to be for. Okay, there we go. It's, it's, okay, he's wearing his little gas mask so he doesn't die in the fire. Alright, so... A little Lego guy on here. And... Got the ATV. Fire dude. it. And like I said, for the for the advent calendar it's gonna be a lot shorter than this, the assembly period, so hopefully uh, I'll be like I said it'll be short, sweet, so I can post one up every day. And celebrate the Christmas season through small bits of plastic. Alright. Thank you very much for watching.